Good morning and welcome to Live with Lucky. Happy Monday, April 4th. We hope that everyone had an incredible weekend. I hope that you enjoyed all of the April Fool's jokes that your teachers uh, uh, played on you this uh, past week. I know that it was definitely the highlight of my day hearing about all of those. So um, great to see everybody. Let's go ahead and get started with our Pledge of Allegiance followed by our Shamrock Pledge. So that means all Chromebooks are closed. We are focused, we are quiet, stand up, ready, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. And now our Shamrock Pledge. We are the scholars of Shamrock Gardens. We are dedicated, committed, and focused. We prepare for greatness by doing our best every day. We cooperate with our classmates, teachers, and staff. We respect ourselves and all people. We know that hard work is the key to success. There are no limits to how far we can go. We dream big, believe, and achieve. We will graduate from high school and be college and career ready. We will succeed. Lunch today, we have the cheese dippers. You can get those with or without marinara sauce. If you choose the cheese dippers that comes with baby carrots with ranch dip, seasoned, seasoned mixed vegetables. If you don't want the cheese dippers, you know we always have our standing yogurt, cheese, and granola bag. Um, the plain hummus bag, the wild butter and grape jelly sandwich for that veggie pinwheel. And our fruits today are diced peaches and fresh apple slices. Today is Marvelous Reading Monday. And so today what I had and wanted to share, I know that for me, we're getting ready to go into spring break and your teachers and I don't really have a lot of time to read for pleasure outside of uh, work uh, because we're always prepping and preparing things to help your learning be fun and exciting. Um, but I know that we are uh, planning on reading some during the break. So I have a whole stack of books and um, I wanted to share one that, or share some that I love. And I looked up mysteries because I love a good mystery. And um, there are some in here that are nonfiction as well as fiction. So this one, you know, has to do with some things on earth that are real and kind of questioning how did they get there. Um, there are some in Spanish as well. Looks like they have a Loch Ness monster um, in the background. And um, I guess that's the Yeti. Uh, guy there, but then there are also some fun fiction ones as well. This is the final Frankenstein group, and they have a lot that are, um, it's like a, a series. This one's the Midnight Library. Here's some campfire uh, vampire ooze control, key hunters. That's a group of like guys that or kids that are, uh, you know, solving mysteries. So I just wanted to throw that little genre out there if that's something that you're interested in. Um, instead of, you know, focusing on like a spring book with it being spring, I thought, let's, let's hit a genre today. So, you know, if you love mysteries, look it up. I'm sure there's one in there. If you love comedy, like funny stories, if you love graphic novels, go into Sora, see if you can find something um, that maybe then you could have Miss Mott even pull for you that you could take home over spring break. All right. Today we do have map testing upstairs, third, fourth, fifth grade. Today is the day for you to show us how much you have learned. Please take your time. It's super important um, and it helps us plan what we want to do for the rest of the school year. So take your time, really think about those questions. Don't just guess because that's only going to hurt you in the end. We want you to take your time and do your absolute best because we know that you can. All right. Everyone have an awesome day of teaching and learning and we'll see you tomorrow on Live with Lucky.